If you learn nothing else from this video, I hope you remember that you should never go to trouble. If there is any trouble, let the trouble come to you. Then you can deal with it on your terms. I often read of stories where people say that they thought they heard something outside their house. They get their gun and go outside to investigate. If you think there are criminals outside, you should never go outside. If you feel certain that someone is outside, then leave that to the police. With this line of thinking, I will mention something my father did. He lived in a house on Parr Boulevard in Richmond. This is the same street that AP Giannini, the founder of Bank America, lived on. Late one night, my father heard noises coming from his driveway. He had a boat parked in his driveway. He got up and looked out his window and saw someone taking the motor off his boat. He took his shotgun and went to the back door. He opened the back door, stepped out a couple of feet, and fired one shot from his shotgun into the air. At the sound of the shotgun blast, the criminal took off down the driveway. When he reached the end of the driveway, he began running across the street. A car was waiting for him there. When he got in the middle of the street, a garbage truck going about 50 miles an hour hit him. The car that was waiting for him saw what happened and sped off. My father put away his gun and went back to bed. In a short while, the police came to the area to respond to the accident. They began knocking on doors in the neighborhood, looking for someone who had seen what had happened. My father left his lights off and just stayed in bed and did not answer his door. Apparently, no one in the neighborhood heard anything that had happened. When my father told me what happened, I called a relative of ours who was a police officer in the area. I asked my relative if he thought the police would try to find my father. My relative said he had heard what had happened. He said the officers on the scene had guessed what had happened and were not doing anything else. He said the criminal was a well-known gang member they had to deal with often. He also noted if someone like that got killed, the police officers gave each other a high five. They were glad they did not have to deal with him anymore. Do not think from the above story that this is what I believe you should do. I would highly recommend that you call the police if you hear noises outside your house. Do not go out to investigate or take a shot at any criminal. The criminal's partner could be easily standing by the back door when my father stepped out. My father could have been shot or stabbed by just opening his back door. It would not surprise me if a criminal would rattle around something in your driveway as a ruse. Then when you come outside, they could attack you. I have another story about not going out your house that involves me. One day I heard a noise in my driveway and looked out my window. I saw a man bent over the back of my car, siphoning gas out of it. The man was smaller than me, and I felt physically I could take him in a fight. I could have made a mistake and took him on. For several reasons, I did not approach him, but called the police. About ten minutes after I called the police, they came back to our house with him handcuffed in the back of their car. The police officer showed me that this person had concealed a 12-inch butcher knife. That knife was not visible to me when I looked out the window. If I had walked up to him, I have no doubt he would have stuck me with it. When I looked out the window, I also looked to see if he had any partners with him. I could see no one. However, the policeman told me that he did have a partner behind him. Had I approached this person, that partner would have attacked me from the rear. When criminals approach you, you should be well aware that there could be other partners in the area. They will probably come from your blind sides. You cannot afford to have tunnel vision with the criminal that is coming directly at you. You should always have to continually scan for his accomplices. I recently read a story from a self-defense trainer about what to do if you shoot someone in your house. The statement he made was that you should get your family together after the shooting. Then get in your car and leave the scene. The person is a former police officer. It flabbergasted me to read the statement. If someone breaks into your house, there are probably multiple individuals involved. There could very well be accomplices inside and outside the house. Your family would be in danger to come out of their hiding places in a situation such as this before the police arrived. If other criminals were also in your house and you shot their friend or relative, they could very likely attack you or your family. You should consider 
there are other criminals outside waiting in a getaway car. These individuals may be aware you killed their brother or cousin. How do you think they would react if they thought you just shot their brother or cousin? Prepare yourself if you step outside your house for the possibilities of shots aimed at you and your family. For these reasons, I would recommend you and your family stay put until the police arrive. Another precaution not to do is stare at people. This is offensive street behavior. If you stare at the wrong thug, they will shoot you. If someone's behavior alarms you, take a few quick glances in their direction. You do this to assess their threat level to you. If you are satisfied they are a potential threat, then immediately leave the area. I notice some people refer to the thugs as gentlemen or sir. Some police departments direct their police officers to do this. If you are not a police officer, this is an incorrect street behavior for you. Referencing them as gentlemen or sir puts you in a subordinate position. If you bump someone, just say sorry and leave. Do not stand around profusely apologizing. That puts you in a subordinate position. It opens a chance that a thug may want money or retribution from you. You may find that you are suddenly upon thugs before you realize it. For example, you may turn the corner of a street and find a group of young punks standing there. Do not try to walk past them. Either turn around and retreat or go in any direction except through them. If they say anything to you, it is okay to say sorry, but do not stop under any circumstances. Try to create as much distance as possible between yourself and them as fast as possible. I would also immediately go to step two of drawing my pistol. This is a step where I have a grip on the pistol and it is out of my holster. However, I would not go to step three where it is visible to the thugs. It is also good to put both of your hands in your pockets. By doing this, you may not draw attention that you are drawing your weapon.